If you want to turn your signature into a watermark in Photoshop, here's how to do it using only your phone, a Sharpie, and a piece of paper. Let's get started. What's cooking? My name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and on this channel we love to talk all about photo editing and Photoshop. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Now watermarks are something that are great to add onto your images if you're uploading things online so then that way people can't steal your images and whatnot. Now the most common watermark people have is a signature, but the problem is how do you take your signature on a piece of paper and bring that onto your computer? Well there's actually a really easy way of doing it and it all starts with your phone because not all of us have a scanner at home or a printer. So I'm pretty sure all of us have a phone or a camera of some type that we can just take a picture of our signature with. So after grabbing a piece of paper and a Sharpie and just doing my signature over and over until I was happy with a result that I wanted, I then went ahead and took a picture of the piece of paper with my phone and I made sure that the flash was on so that I had the most contrast on the paper. After you do that, send your photo from your phone to the computer and that's where we'll be starting this tutorial. So starting in the Photoshop start screen, we'll go here to open and then find our image that we just sent to our computer from our phone. Once this image is open in Photoshop, we want to start to separate the signature from the background. And the reason I said to use a Sharpie instead of a regular pen is because a Sharpie creates those really nice dark and thick lines. So it's easier to make a selection of your signature rather than with a regular pen or a pencil. With all that said, the first thing we'll do is unlock our background layer by clicking on the lock icon. That way our layer will now be editable and we can do things with it. Since we have the contrast between the black of our Sharpie and the white of our paper, we can use something called channels to make a selection really easily. By clicking on our channels tab, or if you don't see this, you can go up here to window and down here to channels. We're gonna go through each of these color channels and find the one that has the most contrast between your signature and the white of the paper. So in this case, going through all of them, you can see that the green color channel has the most contrast. With that green color channel selected, we wanna duplicate it by clicking it and dragging down to the new layer icon like so, and now we'll have a green copy. With the green copy channel selected, we'll press Command or Control L to bring up our levels, and now we'll add a bunch of contrast to make it easy for Photoshop to make a selection. So bringing up our shadows slider like so, until our signature is nice and black, and then we'll bring up our highlights as well. And the idea here is that we want to have 100% black on our signature and 100% white behind our signature. So then that way, Photoshop can easily cut everything out for us. This will take a little bit of fine tuning with your sliders, but it is relatively straightforward. So something like this, in my case, looks good to me, and I'll click OK. So now at this point, we have a completely white background against the black of our signature. And to turn that into a selection, all you have to do is hold Command or Control and click on the thumbnail of your green copy channel. Clicking on that, you can now see we have marching ants all over our image and particularly around our signature. With all of this looking good, we'll go back to our layers tab, click on our signature layer and add that selection onto a layer mask. We'll then press Command or Control I to invert that layer mask and now we'll have a nice selection around our signature. Now the problem here is that as you can see, if I view my layer mask, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's still visible indicated by the white. So what I can do is grab my brush tool and just mask everything out that I don't want. So holding Alter Option, clicking on the layer mask to view it. This just makes it easier to paint everything out that you don't want. I'll then go and change my foreground color to black like so, and I'll just begin painting all over my canvas until everything is black except for the signature, of course, because that's what we want to keep. With all of that done, we'll hold Alter Option once again, click on that layer mask to go back to a regular view, and now let's trim this down so we're only looking at our signature. Going up here to Image and then down here to Trim, we'll then make sure Transparent Pixels is selected and Trim Away All Options is checked off. Then we'll go OK, and that will resize our image to fit around our signature. Now at this point, our signature looks okay, but it could be a little bit darker. So to do that, we'll add even more contrast, grabbing our levels adjustment layer, clicking on that, and then we'll go and add more contrast just like we did before, dragging down like so. And now it starts to look more like a really dark colored pen rather than a faded Sharpie like it does here. So dragging that up, something like this looks pretty good. And now we're ready to turn this into a brush. All you have to do is click on your layer thumbnail here, go up to edit, and then down here to define brush preset. 
type in signature brush or whatever else you'd like to name your brush and click OK. Now, as you can see, I have a new brush that matches my signature. Now, when the time comes that you want to apply your watermark onto an image, all you have to do is create a new layer and then go find that brush tool here. In this case, we just have the signature brush. Then we can just go and rescale that brush and add it in wherever we would like, like so. We can even change the color of the brush by changing our foreground color to something different, let's say white. And then I can just go and add in a little watermark at the bottom of my image. No problem at all. And it's the exact signature that we did on a piece of paper. Now, what if you don't want to have to use a brush tool like this and you'd rather just have an image that you can drag and drop onto your other photos? Well, there's another way that you can do that and it just involves exporting your initial signature. So going back here to our signature layer here, we can turn this into its own transparent background image that we can just drag and drop into any photo that you want. To do that, go up to File and then to here as Save As. I'll change the file name to Signature Watermark. And the most important part is changing the format from Photoshop down here to PNG. This will make sure that the transparent background stays with your signature. Now go ahead and select the save location and click Save. Click OK. And now you'll have your watermark image right here that you can begin using. So now back here in Photoshop, let's say I don't want to use that brush layer. I just want to drag and drop my signature image onto my photo. Well, to do that, I'll just go and grab that signature, drag and drop it onto my photo like so. And then I can just position it wherever I would like. Now from here, it's going to match the exact same look that it did in this initial photo. But if you want to change the color of your signature, all you have to do is double click on that signature and then go down to color overlay. And now you can start to change the color to anything that you would like that fits your needs a little bit better. Just make sure that the opacity is set to 100% and then click OK when you're done. Now you can reposition and rescale this as much as you would like. And since it was on its own image, it automatically creates a new layer for us that you can turn on and off depending on what you need. So both of these options are totally viable and will work great to add your signature as a watermark in Photoshop. All right guys, so that's all it takes to turn your signature into a watermark. And you really don't need a fancy camera or a scanner. You can literally just use your phone and a piece of paper to get this done. Personally, I love the brush example that we first went over in the tutorial because it's a little bit faster than having to drag and drop an image. I prefer just changing my brush settings and painting it where I want the signature. But with that said, it's also nice to have the option to drag and drop an image if you'd rather do that, especially if you're working between multiple Photoshop programs that don't have the same signature brush that you've created. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you to create a watermark on your photo, then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more Photoshop tutorials like today. Now, that's all I have for you guys for today. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time. See you then.